<coughs> morning, YouTube. Beautiful, beautiful morning this morning. Thank you, Lord, for this day. Thank you for the man that I am today in Christ. Help me, Holy Spirit, to be more like Christ every day. Help us, Holy Spirit, to understand what you would have us understand for today. We'll be reading from Luke chapter 18 this morning. I was reading in uh, 1 Corinthians yesterday. 1 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 23. I'd like to read it. First Corinthians chapter 1 verse 23 says and it states but we preach Christ crucified <laughs> yep to the Jews a stumbling block and to the Greeks foolishness but to those who are called both Jews and Greeks Christ the power of God and the wisdom of God because the foolishness of God is wiser than men and the weakness of God is stronger than men <laughs> excuse me anyway just wanted to share the <coughs> verses with you this morning to ponder why we preach Christ crucified ponder that so Luke chapter 18, <laughs> let's eat. <clears throat> then he spoke a parable to them that men always ought to pray and not lose heart. Hmm. Saying there was a certain city, a judge, there was in a certain city a judge who did not fear God nor regard man. Now there was a widow in that city and she came to him saying get justice for me from my adversary <laughs> and he would not for a while but afterward he said within himself though i do not fear god nor regard men yet because this widow troubles me i will avenge her lest by her continual coming she weary me so she kept coming. He said no. He, she just kept coming. He said no. Probably sent her off. Get out of here, you know. And uh, it's given us a depiction to keep asking, consistent, being consistent with it, praying without ceasing, and asking without ceasing. You know. Uh, you remember. Uh, Jacob, he wrestled with the angel of the Lord. And he said, I'm not going to let go, let you go until you bless me. Same depiction. <laughs> Yet because this widow troubles me, I will avenge her. Lest by her continual coming she weary me. <laughs> Verse 6. Then the Lord said, hear what the unjust judge said. And shall God not avenge his own elect who cry out day and night to him enough, or though he bears long with them? Ephesians 5, 15. I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man comes, he will... Oh, nevertheless, when the Son of Man comes, will he really find faith on the earth? <laughs> and, he, and he spoke this parable to some who trusted in themselves that they were righteous and despised others. 
Sorry, I'm having, excuse me, I'm having a <coughs> phlegm this morning. And he spoke this parable to some who trusted in themselves that they were righteous and despised others. Two men went up to the temple to pray, one a Pharisee and the other a tax collector. The Pharisee stood and prayed thus with himself, God, I thank you that I am not like other men, extortioners, unjust, adulterers, or even as the tax, this tax collector. <laughs> I fast twice a week. I, I give tithes of all that I possess. And the tax collector standing afar off would not so much as raise his eyes to heaven, but beat his breast, saying, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. I tell you, this man went down to his house justified rather than the other. For everyone who exalts himself will be humbled, and he who humbles himself will be exalted. Then they also brought in then they also brought infants to him that he might touch them. But when the disciples saw it, they rebuked them. But Jesus called to them to him and said, let the little children come to me, and do not forbid them, for of such is the kingdom of God. <coughs> Talking about their character, their, their, their childlikeness. Assuredly, I say to you, whoever does not receive the kingdom of God as a little child will by no means enter it. Now a certain ruler who asked himself, saying, Good teacher, what shall I do to inherit eternal life? So Jesus said to him, Why do you call me good? <laughs> no one is good but one, that is God. You know the commandments. Do not commit adultery. Do not murder. Do not steal. Do not bear false witness. Honor your father and your mother. Today's my mom's birthday. Yes, I was born two days before her birthday. <laughs> and uh, I was born on my mom's youngest sister's, younger sister's uh, birthday. <laughs> and it's funny too, is this year my mom's 64 and this year I'm 46. Kind of weird, huh? <laughs> anyway, verse 20, do not, or sorry, Verse 20, you know the commandments, do not commit adultery, do not murder, do not steal, do not bear false witness, honor your father and your mother. <laughs> and he said, all these things I have kept from my youth. So when Jesus heard these things, he said to him, you still lack one thing, sell all that you have and distrib distribute to the poor and you will have treasure in heaven and come follow me. But when he heard this, he became very sorrowful, for he was very rich. And when Jesus saw that he became very sorrowful, he said, How hard is it for those who have riches to enter the kingdom of God? Hmm. For it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter the kingdom of God. Hmm. And those who heard it said, Who then can be saved? <laughs> hmm. But he said, These things which are impossible with men are possible with God. <sighs> Amen. Then Peter said, See, we have, we have left all and followed you. So he said to them, Surely I say to you, there is, no, there is no one who has left house or parents or brothers or wife or children for the sake of the kingdom of God. Who shall not receive many times more in this present time and in the age to come eternal life? Then he took the twelve aside and said to them, Behold, we are going up to Jerusalem, and all things that are written by the prophets concerning the Son of Man will be accomplished. For he will be delivered to the Gentiles and will be mocked and insulted and spat upon. They will scourge him and kill him. And the third day he will rise again. Amen. 
but they understood none of these things. These, this saying was, was hidden from them. This saying was hidden from them, and they did not know the things which were spoken. Then it happened, as he was coming near Jericho, that a certain blind man sat by the road begging. And hearing a multitude passing by, he asked what it meant. So they told him that Jesus of Nazareth was passing by. And he cried out, saying, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. <laughs> mm. <laughs> so those who went before warned him that he should not be quiet, that he should be quiet. But he cried out all the more. Son of David, have mercy on me. So Jesus stood still and com commanded him to be brought to him. And when he had come near, he asked him, saying, What do you want of me? Or, sorry, what do you want me to do for you? He said, Lord, that I may receive my sight. Then Jesus said to him, Receive your sight. Your faith has made you well. And immediately he received his sight and followed him, glorifying God. And all the people, when they saw it, gave praise to God. Hmm. We'll read down to... Read 19, 1 through 10 also. Then Jesus entered and passed through Jericho. Now behold, there was a man named Zacchaeus, who was a chief tax collector, and he was rich. And he sought to see who Jesus was, but could not because of the crowd, for he was of short stature. So he ran ahead and climbed up into a sycamore tree to see him, for he was going to pass that way. And when Jesus came to the place, he, he looked up and saw him and said to him, Zacchaeus, make haste and come down, for today I must stay at your house. <laughs> <coughs> so he made haste and came down and received him joyfully. But when they saw it, they all complained, saying, He has gone to be a guest with a man who is a sinner. <laughs> God. Then Zacchaeus stood and said to the Lord, Look, Lord, I give half of my goods to the poor, and if I have taken anything from anyone by false accusation, I restore fourfold. And Jesus said to him, Today salvation has come to this house, because he also is a son of Abraham. For the Son of Man has come to seek and to save that which was lost. Amen. 9, 10, 20, 10. We'll finish 19 up when we get back in it. <laughs> Ran to a tree, climbed the tree so he could see Jesus passing by. And when Jesus got to him, he said, Come down from there. I'm going to stay at your house. ran to see Jesus, climbed a tree, just so he could see him. And Jesus told him, come down from there, I'm going to come stay at your house. Hmm. You can ponder that today. You know, when I read stuff, and you know, I've read that can't tell you how many times. But I'm going to ponder it because there's something hidden there. Not, not hidden from you, but just hidden for you. <laughs> you guys be blessed. God over everything. Jesus is my king. You guys have a great day today. Bye.